Usually a KVM is capable of controlling multiple computers using one single set of keyboards and mouse and other peripherals and using one or more displays. And we have seen quite a few really cool, but this one is special because it's able to do everything that I just mentioned right now, but something special, which is the ability to be controlled over a distance of 190 feet or 150 meters away. And this is really Cool. My name is Roberto George. Welcome back to the Ori's YouTube channel and let's go and take a look at it. Now with the setup example for the 4K HDMI USB Type-C KVM extender that looks like a normal KVM but it's a bit different. So I've got a Windows computer here which I can control locally. I've got a MacBook Pro which I can control locally individually but we can also connect a keyboard and mouse here to control both of them which we will do in just a few moments. But the special thing about this KVM extender is that if you take a look at the other room where I do have a cable that we can go up to 490 feet of distance or 150 meters away and I've got this cable here CAT6, which at this moment it's only 30 meters, but we can go much longer. And if you take a look at that screen over there on the other room, at this moment it's showing the HDMI, which is the Windows 11. But if I press this button here, the select button, and I will just look here, just swapped, and in a few seconds it will change as it is right now to macOS. So at this moment I can control my macOS computer from the other room and if I press once again then it will swap to the computer which at this moment is connected to the HDMI which is the Windows 11 computer. But if we have someone on the other end of the room that we need to give access and control we can do so. On this unit here I can connect anything via USB or even infrared and I can just control any of the computers that I've got on the other hand. So I can use the keyboard for example or I can use the mouse and do all sorts of actions here, but let's go back to the main setup. And at this moment, I brought the keyboards and mouse, which we could have a set of keyboard and mouse here and another one on the other end. So at this moment, I'm connected to the HDMI Windows 11 computer, which I can control as I was doing on the other end. And as you can see on the other room, we can also replicate everything that we're doing here on any of these computers. Now, if I press this button here, it will select the USB Type-C. And if I move my mouse around at this moment, I'm controlling exactly the MacBook. And if I press the preview, I can preview that image. So this is a normal function for the KVM. But of course, the most advantage feature here is that I can just use it 150 meters away from the source and have it on a bigger display or even a projector. It's capable of doing 4K at 60 frames per second. It has HDMI 2.0, BHTCP 2.3 compilers and everything else in terms of the technical specifications, you can just check on the link down below. But one of the things that I would like to point out here is the connectivity. So at this moment, I've got a USB a connected here, which is from the keyboard and mouse, which I can use here simultaneously on the other end as well, but I will remove it. So we have three of these USBs and then we have the EDID and also the mode, which we are working with standard button to select. We have the LED for the HDMI, which is at this moment activated for the computer that it's connected to the HDMI. Or if we change, we will have the USB Type-C LED right over there. And we also have the link, which means that we have link from the TX unit for the RX units and then the power indication LED. Now at the back, it's really simple. All we need to connect is the power DC that comes from the power adapter. We only need to connect power here because it will power the other unit through the Ethernet cable. Obviously, we will need to connect the Ethernet cable CAT6 to the other unit up to 150 meters away or 490 feet. And then in terms of connecting to the computers, we have one USB Type-C cable which will bring image, data and everything else from that single cable, which at this moment I'm using 
the MacBook Pro and on the other computer we have the option for the HDMI. So I do have a cable HDMI connected here that will go to that computer there and we also have a USB-B to USB-A connected to this particular computer here so that we can change the information of the keyboard, mouse or even devices with infrared. Now, I'm not using any infrared device here to control but it is an option and the kit comes with the infrared in and out so that we can and connect the only thing that we are using right now is a keyboard and a mouse and is as simple as this and then here on the receiver end of course we have the cat6 cable coming from the sender unit and then we have a hdmi output that will go to the big screen tv or a projector or anything else that we want to display there's two usb ports at the back that we can connect to any keyboard and mouse which is what we are using right now so as we have seen i can control either the windows computer or the mac computer although we can only select the computer on the other end of the setup and then we also have the audio output and the rs232 along with the power adapter socket which we don't need because we will receive power from the other units and here at the front we have the connectors for infrared in and infrared out so is as simple as this and of course if we want to do some other activities and connecting game pads and whatnot we can but at this moment for demonstration just using a keyboard I could do anything that I wanted so if I want to go to the RA's website for example I can just do so and check out for example the new arrivals or is is always getting new ideas new devices to solve situations so i can show everything and i can control any of those machines right over there just by using this unit here and of course the sender on the other side so really special as i said because we can use it up to a distance of 490 feet or 150 meters just by using the rx and tx units and we will have a setup which is really awesome and although we did test out with a basic setup it will give you an idea of the capabilities of this particular device links will be down below with all the information that you can get about this setup right over here my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one